What's in the pouch? Spearmint edition. Spearmint flavors, but and there's a good amount of synthetic cooling agent. That one. Out of here. It's been extracted for a while, and now we're gonna DCM swing extract it. We got splitting and DCM. Chick, chick, chick. The GCMS. Onto the trace GC. All right, we got the spearmint data. First major peak, like usual. Exactly what you'd expect the major peak to be. First major flavoring peak is Carvone. Here we go, Carvone is that monoterpene present in high amounts in spearmint oil. Other peak before the Carvone, slightly small menthol. Well, that makes perfect sense. So the next major peak is out in the synthetic cooling area. Looks like we got a synthetic cooling agent in this S3 from Winsense. We've seen this in other pouches before. This is a synthetic cooling agent with a minty, long-lasting cooling flavor. Let's look at the little minor peaks. It's eucalyptol. It is dehydrocarbone, so another spearmint flavor. And most concerning, next to the big nicotine peak, we do have some minor peaks to worry about. First one, ooh, bourbonine. This is said to have a herbal, woody, floral, balsamic odor. We've seen, we also have carophalline. Look at nicotine, you see this 133, 162 mass pattern. When you're looking for impurities, you want to be cautious of seeing that 133 mass. And so this peak right here does appear to have the 162 and 133. This one right here has got the 130. A uh, little concerned about some of the minor peaks near the nicotine peaks in this product. We think it'd be like all the others. However, it doesn't seem as clean as the other ones I've analyzed.